Do you want to create these AE like black bars in DaVinci Resolve? Keep watching. Add your clip to the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. Then head to the top left corner and click on the effects icon. In the toolbox menu, find effects, then drag the adjustment clip onto the timeline. Place it properly and trim it down to match the length of your clip. Now click on the fusion page icon to open it. To create the black bars, we need to use a background node because, unlike After Effects, DaVinci Resolve doesn't have a built-in effect for this. So, select the media and node and add a background node from here. Arrange it properly, then add a rectangle mask to the background node. By default, the mask is the opposite of what we need. So go to the inspector window and click on invert. Good. Now go to the viewer and adjust the mask to create the black bars. This part is totally up to you depending on how you want the bars to look. All right, now let's animate it. I'll start from frame zero, but you might want to match it with your music beats. So adjust accordingly. Go to the inspector and add a keyframe for the height. From here, I'll move 15 frames forward. You should move to your next beat drop and add another keyframe. Then click on this mini arrow to go back to the first keyframe and drag the height slider until the mask disappears. Now if I move the playback head, you will see it's animating. Okay, let's move another 15 frames forward, then go to inspector and drag the slider up again to make the mask disappear. Let me adjust the preview area a little. Okay, now if we play it, we'll have something like this. But honestly, this is just a linear animation and it's not what we're going for. Let's make it better by adjusting the curves. Go to the top right corner and click on the spline icon to open it. From the spline tab, select the height box. Then go to the right and click on the zoom to fit button to see all the keyframes clearly. Select all the keyframes and press S to smoothen them. Now follow me, drag the top left handle like this. Do the same for the right side. For the middle keyframe, drag this part slightly to the right and then drag the handle on the left to create a curve like this. If we play the animation now, you'll see we've achieved the effect we wanted, and it looks just as good as After Effects. So you can close the video if you are busy. But if you are not, then let me share some extra tips to make this effect even better. We will add a zoom transition to our clip. For that, simply select the Media in node and add a Transform node. We will need this for animation, and also we need to use the same frames as before. So select the transform node and go to the first frame. For me, it's zero. Then go to the inspector and add a keyframe for size. Then go to the next frame. For me, it's 15. For this one, simply change the size value to 1.05. Then go to frame 30 and change the size back to one. Now simply open the spline tab and here deselect the rectangle and then click on the zoom to fit button. Now select the keyframes then press S on keyboard. Then change the left handle as shown, and also change the right handle like this. Then adjust the middle handles, this one to the right, and of course, this one to the left. That's all. Now if we play this, you will see it's looking much better than before. As the black bars arrive, our clip also zooms in, and as it disappears, it zooms out. All right, now let me show you one more thing. In case you want to animate the angle of your black bars, you can do that as well. For that, click on the rectangle mask node, then go to the first frame. Go to the inspector and add a keyframe to the angle. Then move to the second keyframe and change the angle as you like. Finally, move to the last keyframe and change the value back to zero. Open the spline tab and make a similar curve like this. It's the same curve as earlier. That's all, and you're good to go. So that's how you create smooth black bars in DaVinci Resolve for free. You can improve this even further by adding good color correction. If you want to do TikTok style CC for free, check out this video on my channel. It's a well-detailed guide that even a beginner can follow. So watch it, and I'll see you in the next one.